It's 95K hey Morning now. Show. CC yes. and Romeo. And it's about to get real funny up in here. <laughs> up in, in here. here. Come on. Up in here. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Finally, I'm back. I Man. know. I think Last it's been like back, four years. I Rome's hat. I did yeah. take it. You did. You jacked me for my hat, bro. I had to, man. And I had to man up and say, yeah, he got me. He yeah, got yeah, me. yeah. I had to take that. I still rock it to this day, man. You I do? swear to God, I always rock that hat. I love man. that. Thank it's you It's a good for that. looking hat, so it's, it's just cool to wear, so. And well, it's a legendary station. You on, already know come that. On. Yes. Let's go. It means a lot, and let's go. You got some major. You got, well, can we call this major? You got this big event that's about to happen. Yes. Pretty huge. Let's yes. speak on that. So, fourth <laughs> Netflix special. I'm taping it at the forum, so, uh. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. This I love the forum, by the way. It's such a perfect place for the you to be at. The best venue. Are you kidding me? Yes. The greatest. Legendary. It really is. Yes. You know, you got. You know, there's uh, there's uh, historical landmarks in this country that get destroyed a lot, mm-hmm. and uh, and there's not that many. You know what I mean? Like our oldest parks are like you know red, you know where the Red Sox play, where the right. Cubs play, and then of course Dodger Stadium is third. Yeah. You know, not too many people know that, mm-hmm. and it's just like, and then the forum is one of those. Those iconic venues that we need to like preserve and keep. No, definitely, I agree and, with you. You know, and it's I just really like, do. and if you go in it, you feel it. You feel like that that magic when you go in there, and and I mean that in the literal literal sense too. You know, what <laughs> I mean magic. You know, Showtime Lakers were there, and it's just like you feel it when you walk in there. When I saw Elton John there, I was just like, I have to shoot my special here. Right. Yes, so. I yeah. think even when we have our concerts there, you walk through the through the halls and you just feel like the energy of you everybody that's been here. And you're gonna be there March 25th, March 26th. 26 is sold out. Wait, what? It's already sold out? Yeah, yeah we, we, that thing sold out even before I decided to shoot my Netflix special there. Oh my God. So that sold out and then then the 25th is almost done. It's almost like there's only a few seats Y'all left. better hurry up. Yeah. Y'all better hurry up. Like, as yes. in right now while you're hearing us talk to them. It's man. crazy though to, yes. to see like, you know, LA come out the way they do. LA you loves know. you. Yeah, it's nuts. Is like, that still like surreal to you? Like how much when people see you, they, I just think really because you're just, you're humble and you're just so inviting and some people are not very approachable. Oh. So it's a blessing when you see somebody that is, you oh, know? Thank you. No, I, I pinch myself every day. Like, you know, I take my guy Yoda and mm. my, my son's on the road with me and, and we like document all this. And, and I, every time I walk into a venue, I'm like, are they really here for this? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like 14,400 people. Like, what? Like, I'm yeah. looking up and, and like, it's especially I'm glad with- glad you said the- it like that, though. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's not like it's a band going on stage. No. Right? It's you it's and me. one we, mic. I was just telling you guys at a dinner yesterday. I was just like, I was just like, wait a minute. I don't, I don't have a guy that checks my guitar. No. And I don't have another guy checking the drums, you know, or checking all right. the mics. And I don't have 17 semis. I have one semi that brings my stage in. And, you know, we got the, 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 the merch. But I'm just, it's just a stool. It literally, all I have is a stool. A stool and a, and a mic. mic and, and maybe a, mic. a glass of water right there. And that's it. And everyone's it's in the palm of your hands for an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, man. Just escaping everything else. I keep pinching myself. It's, it's crazy, man. Like, two forums. It's, I can't believe it. I yeah. really can't. Like, even saying this right now, I'm I, like... It's it's very humbling. I, I just love it because even you're you're such this huge comedian, this huge celebrity, and it still even amazes you that you're at the forum. You yeah, know what I'm it's kind of crazy. It is. It's very humble, man. And you, and you seem. So you know what happy. I do? I What's light. That? I make everyone light. That put their lights up, right? Like mm-hmm. I tell them to, to light up the room, just so that my son can feel it when he walks out. Oh like, my god, I yeah, love it. Yeah, because I really want him to like take that all in and just see how how hard it was to get there and just like. I want to share that moment with you now. Joe, if you don't mind me asking, how old is your son? My son's 18. 18. So like, you know, okay. the, the the you know, I was I've been on the road for 32 years and it's just like there was moments where like he didn't know what I was doing. Right. And I was missing birthdays and Christmases and I'm just mm. trying to get seven shows in at St. Charles, Illinois. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Trying to establish a following. Going back to the loose. I yeah, know but I had to I had to like yeah, but you know, I had to do those small venues to build the audience, but like I had to sacrifice so much. Mm-hmm. So it's like now now that he's on the road with me, like I'm sharing all of this with him just so he knows what with that body oh, of work and what it, it took up. to get yes, there, yeah. yeah. And and does he want to follow in your footsteps? Like I'm praying that he does. I mean, he goes to comedy club when I'm on the road sometimes, mm-hmm. and he doesn't come out with me, which is very rare. Um, like I'll he'll post a video with you know. But Yoda, Yoda's my camera guy. Shout out to Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, yeah, all those videos you see on IG, he shoots and, and cuts. But uh, yeah, they'll be at a comedy club, and it's just like, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Like, mm. is he is he testing the waters? Is he does he have the yes. bug? Is he got the itch? I don't want to 
force him. But that's what I was going to ask. So it's not like a, a, a situation where you're trying to push him that way. No, it's just like you know, if it happens, it happens. If it happens, it happens. Man, because you know, Rome happens... sings and his son sings too. Yes. Yeah. So I could see like similarity. Yeah. Does it really? Yeah. And I don't push it on him. Like don't. you know, he'll walk around the house and be singing and rapping. I'll be about to break out in tears. Like yes, oh, it's in him. <laughs> my son will. My son will crack on people on the tour, and I'm just like, ha, oh, yo, and I'm like, yo, why didn't I think of that one? Like it was so quick witted and, and he's smart. witty, very it's witty. Not, it's yes. not like a teenager. It's like very sharp mm -hmm. and, and yo, man. I'm like, he's DNA. got it. I, I go, he's got it, but I it's don't want in to, him because the minute you force it on him or yeah. like or, or go get on stage, open for me, that that's when they're not gonna want to do it. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait. But okay. I, man, I can't wait for the day to retire and open for him. How crazy would Wouldn't that, that be? Wouldn't that be cool That's for the roles reverse? That's and Bronny right there. Yes, I would love true. it. Oh, my God. I would love to just, like, if he went on, like, a like a comedy club tour, I will literally go on the well, road. Well, he's learning from the best. Oh, and, thank and you. And he's learning as he goes just by mm -hmm. seeing the setups and the set down. I'm sure he's yeah. in business conversations with you. Yes. He's learning So you uh, should. be willing to go open up for him, but you are you going to, yeah. what are you going to charge him? Uh, I'm just You know <laughs> Charge well, I will, okay. right? I should. Right? Like right now, it's like he's he, he, he's always broke, and I'm like, how are you broke? Like I, your dad is your boss. I know how much I give. What do you. they say? Your kids are your broke, uh, your broke uh, best friends. Yes. Yeah, man. Really but he's are. so sweet, though. He buys everyone food. Like it's it's like he loves this new money that he has, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the way he spends it is very loving. Like, he always takes everyone out to oh, eat. That's and dope. He, What's his he name? He pays. Joe. What? Joe. Oh, Joe. There yeah. he is. What up, Joe Jr.? Yes. <laughs> He's the best. Like, I love it. I love that You that guys were on Family Feud, too, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. How'd that How was work that? Out? Yes. I don't want to tell you, but okay. I'm telling you, like, you ever watch those episodes where you're like, there's no way that happened? That's exactly what happened. One of those moments, Yeah, it was huh? one of those ones. And I can't tell you who won, and, okay. I, and I can't tell you what happened, but I'm t it, it it was one of those we'll viral episodes where you're like, are you kidding me right now? Oh, wow. You know, my mom was on Family Feud back in the day with Richard Dodson, right? Ooh. Yes. Uh, or Dawson, whatever. That's his name? Yeah, Richard okay. Dawson. The and, man that uh, kissed they, everybody? Yeah, yes. the man, he he kissed kissed everybody, everybody. Right? he kissed everybody, right? Well, my mom was so nervous. I think she was like 18 or 19 at the time. And they're like, name a state with the letter M. <laughs> she said, Mexico. <laughs> I love it. And it's on YouTube. Oh, man. Oh, is it? We pulled it out. We, she gets so embarrassed. Oh. Yes. Can I just say something? What? We got one of those questions. <laughs> so, no, you, it, it, so you can, uh oh. I oh can't tell you it because okay, they told okay. us not to, but it's one of those moments where oh, it was so God. easy. We're like, God. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I had to put you on blast, no. but it was funny. Yes. <laughs> one of those moments. Yes. Man, I will say this. I just feel like you're in such a great place right now, mm -hmm. man. You're smiling. Thank and your you. couple goals. You got everybody trying to go skiing topless now. Like, oh. what was, okay, that was hilarious. Idea was that with you and your boo? Uh, Chelsea just, that's her. I mean, everyone knows how Chelsea was before I was right. dating her. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So. Uh, that's just her, and I love her for that. I love She's how awesome. open and how free she is, and how yeah. uh, and don't mess with her. Don't don't try and battle her with a convert, uh, like you know what I mean, with yes. her, some kind of words, because she will destroy you. And and I love that. I Has love she ever destroyed you? Of with words course yet? she does. <laughs> Are you kidding yes. me? It's like she's such a strong and, and smart woman. And it's like, I love the fact that I can walk into a room. Like, okay, I, I always tell her this, but there was this one situation where we walked into this this restaurant and, and the owner walked up. He, he was trying to, do, just being one of those guys, those arrogant guys. And it's yeah. just like, in my head, I'm like, you're about to get shut down, man. <laughs> you Whereas normally, if I was with a date, it's like I would have to take that responsibility. Right. I'm the comedian. I'm, you know what I mean. Like, I'm the bro, one with you the don't boys. know my girl. Yeah, I, 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 I would go in, but like, it was that situation. Where I'm like, bro, yeah. what are you doing? I'm warning like, you. I don't even want to mess with her. Right. Yeah, you just and then, lean back and be like, here it comes. Bro, here like clockwork, she did. Just oh. shot him down, and it was just so subtle and good, and like. I remember walking in, high-fiving her, and she was laughing, and I kissed her. I was like, babe, I love this about you. <laughs> I, I love do. it. I do. No, you guys are couple goals. I mean, you could yeah, just, man. like he said, the happiness. You and see it. I love when she was scared. She was, I was like, she represented her man. Oh. She wore it right here. I said, you go, girl. Yes, I love it. Love you, Chelsea. I love Chelsea. Chelsea Handler, by the way. Yeah, there we she's, go, she's yes. She's the best, man. I love oh, her. Man, but I'm happy for you guys. You know, I listen to you a lot in the car. 
when Thank I'm going you. home, man. I got a long drive home, so you always make me laugh. DJ. You're going to love this new one. Am, am this I? new hour, I'm telling you, it's my best. It's my best work. You know, when the pandemic hit, uh-huh. all I could do was write. You know mm. what I mean? It's yeah. like I had no stage to go up on. Uh, you remember when they started doing social distance shows? Yes. I would literally pop up at, like, the weirdest shows because I couldn't go on the road. My, my whole tour got I canceled. I bet you those were the best ones, They though. were so good. I remember yep. I went to the OC, and I wish I could shout out who it was that, that threw it, but... Uh, uh, but it was it was at a mall upstairs mm. in front of like a food court or something. Get out of here. And it was the best time of my life. It was like <laughs> everyone was sitting like 15 feet apart, and there was like maybe max 40 people there. And I was like destroying in front of Mrs. Fields. It was like <laughs> it was like it was like an H and M logo behind me, and I'm like, I was loving life, man. I was just happy Killing to be in game. front of a microphone. Right? Yeah, man. Well, wow. let's talk about this because I'm I really love um, that you have the you know Joe Coy Foundation and yes. that you really help kids. Like, can we talk more about this foundation? Because things like this, people need to know about. Aww. I don't like to talk I about it. I know you it. don't, but, <laughs> but we because have I to. Because I don't. I don't like to talk about the, the stuff I, I, I do with with my I, money or to help. No, right. but I feel like it's important so people can get behind it and support. Aww, yes. That's very sweet. I, I I really don't like to. Like, you know, I'll throw, I, I don't even like to tell you how I do it. But I, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful foundation. My, my sister has lupus. Okay. So, you know, and it's like, that's my way of like raising money and, and causing awareness for such so a So this is what inspired you. Your sister, your yeah. sister with lupus inspired you to start this foundation? Of course. Okay. And it's like, it's, it's, it's just, but I don't, I don't like to, that's just me. I'm sorry. I'm no, not that not, guy. No, but you know what? I just, I, I love talking about it because I didn't know when yeah. I found out and I did more research and I'm like, man, this is dope. I get behind a lot of foundations. Yeah. So sometimes I know you're so humble, but you just have to shine a little light because then people can be like, wow, let me get behind it. Let's oh, support, especially for the but children. It, it, okay, here's a better way of saying it. It's like, okay. look, and it's not just specifically the children. It's it's everybody that, that has uh, lupus. Um, uh, you, you, you don't have to like go through me as right. long as you can just go through lupus. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, 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 and donate that way as well. But like I, I love to donate to that because it has it, there's a special place in my heart for it so yes. so that's why and there's a, no, there's and a lot of people that. affected by it too that you know i i never even knew about it i was never aware of it <laughs> you know what i mean i had no idea and a lot of people don't know it's a mm-hmm. it's it's horrible what they go through and we need to find out you know how to cure this thing i have a friend who does radio and uh she's had lupus since she was a very very little and mm-hmm. then i have an aunt that actually just developed lupus only the last maybe seven years of her yeah. life it's just it's just different for everybody it's different for everyone yes it and is it's cra- yes. like it, uh, i i just don't but i, I love just... that you do that thank I love you. That you do yeah. that yes and absolutely. i will continue to always do that so no, we appreciate you sharing a little bit that you did because at the end of the day you know it's that platform like you said if you can yeah. from the top of the mm-hmm. mouth and bring attention to others yeah it makes a big difference a really real does. big difference oh big you're difference. so now, sweet before you leave we got to talk about this because we have like we're throwing the biggest throwback concert mm. ice cube uh-huh. ti method man red man Slim Thug, DJ Quick, yes. Sugar Free, Paul wow. Wall, Petey Pablo. I wow. told you, yes, wow. Glasses Malone. We got everybody up there. So, t- I just want to know, like, from Ice Cube to Ti to DJ Quick, what do you think about this lineup? That I think we have? the Ice Cube uh, legacy, especially you know we're in LA. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's it's that's that's one of those things where it's like you should. You should see it before you can't see it anymore. Mm. Yes, because it's such a it's such a piece of LA history. Definitely, you know what I mean. They yeah. put us on the map. Ice Cube put us on the map, man. man. You know what I mean. And and just that sample of of what Dre did at the Super Bowl mm-hmm. just shows how iconic that 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 era was. Era is so iconic, and so like, iconic, and it yeah. was such a movement. And it's like you, you ever look at like uh, the the receipts that these guys have. On, on on Hollywood Entertainment, like mm-hmm. Dre and Ice Cube, like without those two men and Easy, because Easy started everything. Like right. when you start the family tree, you put Easy first, and you just the roots just go down, and, and it just, just yeah. it's everything that we're listening to this day. And I mean, from like you know, from Bone Thugs to 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 you know what I mean to to fi- to Fifty Cent yeah. to Dre to Cube to Eminem to, to the Black Eyed Peas. Even yeah. it's like Easy had his hand in all that. It's just like that that's that's history and it's it's uh, it's you got to witness it before we can't witness it yes. anymore. I totally exactly. agree. and we love what happened for the super bowl halftime so i'm just thinking one day yeah for halftime they want us to get our laugh on yeah <laughs> joe coy and two other people on stage at halftime at a yeah. super bowl Absolutely who would you want to be there never with you? I, but we would want that who would you want to be with you oh my god i mean you better say chelsea as one person yeah <laughs> 
And to be to honest, I would I would love to be with the people that I came up with and, okay. and oh, know me yeah. and know me from the struggle from mm-hmm. hot dogs and bacon wrapped hot dogs on the street. Like Come on now. you know what I mean? Like, yes. like at the end of the show, that's that's all we could afford to eat, that type of stuff. So I would take definitely Tiffany Haddish and I would definitely take uh uh, Chelsea with me because Chelsea gave me my start, so I, it would probably be us three. Oh, doing that would it. be that's funny! Dope. Yes. Oh that's my God, dope. Tiffany Haddish. Oh, Come on now. It. And it's so crazy because yes. Tiffany, you know, she'll pop up on my shows every now and then. She'll fly in and, and go up, and and Chelsea will go up and and pop up, and it's just fun to see that because. We knew each other when we didn't have any money, wow. you know. So it's fun to like. And I know you have to have those moments where you sit back with them. And you're like, look at what we. We did. do. Yeah. Look wow. how far we. You came. know what's crazy? Yes. Is I, was, I was shooting a movie in Louisiana, and yeah. and I'm not. Listen, I'm not bragging. I'm just. It's. I'm. I'm talking about what right. you're doing right now, mm-hmm. and it's like from from us leaving the stage at the Laugh Factory, getting you know, hot dogs, because you know how they cook the hot dogs yes, on, on Sunset. outside, yeah. And, and it's just me and Tiffany eating it, you know, <laughs> and then to, like, Tiffany going, I heard you on this movie. I'm like, yeah. She's like, well, you can get on my jet if you want. And it's like, <laughs> but here's the thing. I was like, oh, I was just about to get a jet because I have to fly right back. And this is a conversation. That is It's crazy. so, like, ridiculous. Surreal, yes. It's not even, like, like when we even, like, when I met her, on like, because I, I flew on hers, and I canceled mine. Yeah. So I got to save money on that one. Thanks, Tip. But like, I remember we were just sitting there and we looked at each other like, you remember hot dogs? Like, what are we doing right yeah. now? Like, but it's just funny to put gas in the car to yeah. get to the next city. It's like, you remember when you had a bunch of shoes in your trunk and you were trying to figure out which pair of shoes? It's yes. like, and it's just such a great moment. It's just like, you know, and we don't tell anyone that, but it's just yeah. like, it was just such a cool. But sometimes it's just cool just to sit sit back and be like, man, we came full circle. Yeah. You know I mean? And it's a done blessing. It. And it. it's cool because we're friends. And it's like, she knows I don't want nothing from her and I don't want nothing from, you know, I don't it's want nothing friendship. from her. She doesn't want yeah. nothing from me. It's just, it's, we love each other and we both came you know, from the, we we seen each other struggle, so it's man. just been fun to do that with her. Well, congratulations! Uh, ah, you know, show already sold out. What's up? Uh, but no, because uh, you know, I got the movie too coming out pretty soon. Oh wait, right? wait, wait, wait let's, let's talk about, about that. Hold on. Yeah, let's and I got the, the TV show coming up. But the movie is with Steven Spielberg. Steven saw uh, coming in hot, my second Netflix special, and mm-hmm. then brought me in uh, to to Amblin and met wow. with Holly and Jeb and everybody, the whole Amblin crew, and I pitched this movie uh, that I already had in place with uh, Rideback, Dan Lin. I have to shout these names out. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. But, uh, and uh, they bought the movie right in the room. And, what? And Steven Spielberg paid for everything. Everything. Get out of um, here. And okay, he had his hands. Me? He had his hands dipped in everything, from writers to casting to watching it to final edits to even down da- down to me uh, fighting for the name of the movie. And uh, and uh, and it is going to be a uh, it's going to be a theatrical release. So it's coming out. Can you tell us what it's about? Yeah, it's called Easter Sunday. It's uh, it all takes place on one day, mm. and it's uh, it's about my family, and it's uh, <laughs> and the chaos that ensues. There's love and chaos, and it's just a typical American family. Family, uh, living in America, yeah, that just happens to be Filipino, but it's still <laughs> just an American family, like, family. You better get somebody good to play me. <laughs> no, we already shot it. So no, already oh, shot. you did that already. Oh my god! So when does it come out? Comes out August. Okay. 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 So get ready for that for one. Oh, and what? S- I even think he just said he was going to do a movie screening with us. Uh, I thought I, I heard I him right he that. Yeah. Okay. That. I would yeah. love for you guys to come to the premiere. That'd be amazing. Sound like we're gonna be there. Yeah. I don't care what that is. You got a jet? Just put us on your jet, bro. <laughs> We're gonna do it right here in Hollywood, TV, yeah. man. Even better. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Congratulations yeah. again, you. Yeah, man. You just keep shining, and like I said, you're such a great bright light amongst it, amongst the world that we needed during that pandemic. Aww. Thank you so you much, for and You've earned everything, Joe. Thank no, you. No, Absolutely. How does it feel to have light brown eyes? Um, Isn't it a great feeling? It is a great feeling. Isn't it? You it works have light in our brown favor. It works yeah. in our favor. Don't it though? It's like it's like a little secret weapon every now and then. Like when I'm the done. sun, I'm done, ladies, with sun, these guys. I'm when the done. sun hits it, every oh, you got them too. <laughs> yeah. uh, every now and then, the, the sun will hit it in a way oh, where man. it gives you a compliment. It's hazel. Like walk, it looks. It can look a little hazel. Yeah. It can look. Sometimes I'll, I'll look like I have dark brown eyes, and it's not fun. No one talks to me. And when then the girl, minute the sun hits it. They're like, yeah. ooh, those are hazel. I'm like, it. they sure are. When your girl gets <laughs> mad at you, go yeah. outside, make the show the sun's hit, and just look at it like, like Look at it like this. Like, <laughs> boom. For real. You guys, yeah, I'm man. done. Seriously? It's a wrap. I'm done with these guys. <laughs>